guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. And today I am here with a special guest, my mom. And make sure you go follow her at a sailor's wife blog. Um, and so today, together we are going to make finger pup puppets. And this is Trezek. Yep, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, and we're going to be making first a zebra corn. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. You forgot to tell them from what series? Oh yeah, the Unicorn Jazz series by Lisa Caprelli. So big shout out to Lisa Caprelli. So the first thing you're gonna need is white construction paper. Uh, black construction paper. Yep. Blue construction paper. All first, make sure you always have adult supervision when using sharp objects. Uh, <laughs> um, a punch ruler? Or hole puncher. A hole puncher. <laughs> a ruler. Glue. Oh, and pencils or markers. Markers. And we need black and blue. blue. So, the first thing we're going to do is we want to cut out the, the pieces of the body. So, so, we already cut those out. And you're going to need a neck, a head, a tail. Now, the tail, Lisa Caprelli has graciously um, left us a... Um, something to trace in her instructions and I'll make sure that I put it. So the first thing you need to do after you've already cut all the pieces is what? You need to color them. And? And punch the holes. Yes. I'm just gonna start making the design on the zebra. Sure. Corn, zebra corn. So she's coloring the design of the zebra corn and I am gonna be punching the holes. You guys can see punching the holes into the zebra body. So let's go ahead. I just finished the neck. Show them the neck. Okay, so we we went ahead and made the holes, and we have our fingers in there now. Okay, and now we have to color our tail. So we'll go ahead and color that, Priscilla. Okay. So this is going to be black and blue. That's where the blue comes in. And while I'm doing this, why don't you cut out the unicorn horn? Okay. So I'm just cutting here. Like a little triangle. A little triangle for the unicorn, the actual unicorn head. There we go, and we got the tail. There you go. And now we just have to make sure we add the stripes to his body. So do you, you wanna, wanna do that? Sure. While she does that, I can glue the head to the um, the body, um, the neck, the neck. Yeah. So show them your pieces. How you're gonna you're gonna glue them? So I'm just gonna glue them like that. Very nice. And glue can get a little messy, so we want to be as clean as possible. That is the neck and the face. Now we need to put the unicorn head. Uh, yes, where is the unicorn head? Right here. There it is. great family experience and bonding moment 
for if you're a mom with your little ones, a uh, father, uh, father son. Well, it can be a father son, a mother son, a mother daughter, a father daughter, brother sisters. Yeah. So it's a very good bonding experience. All right, and my body is done. Now we just need to glue it. You want to glue it? Sure. <laughs> Coming out so cute. He's actually looking like a zebra corn. Okay. That All is done. Here's zebra corns. And so, of course, we have to play with them because why else do you make puppets? Okay, so. Do, 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 do. They're so cute. And this is how you make a zebra, zebra corn. corn. Thank you so much, Lisa Caprelli, for showing, um, giving us this opportunity to do this unicorn um, zebra corn with you. Um, and um, we appreciate you guys checking in and watching us while we're doing it. Hope you guys like them. Bye. Bye.